So we're off the bus, we just got dropped off of like a little hostel and we're wandering to go and try and find a hotel. I had a horrendous night's sleep, the guy that was lying next to me. Such a space hog, he kept coming over onto my bed with his knees and his elbows and everything. I was like, good morning, Hello. hotel. When you go hotel? Uh, so I've not had a very good sleep. This one slept loads. He, he always says, I don't think I've slept at all. But he, he really did sleep all the way through, no, I think. I think, like, if I try and like, I would have put one, so it's two. Yeah. yeah. It felt like I kept waking up. Yeah. Because I closed my eyes. Mm. And then I opened it again. Yeah. Because I was just Yeah. Yeah. Right, we haven't got a hotel, but I've just been on um, booking.com to have a little look, and there's a cheap, okay-ish one, I think, just around the corner that we can go and see if they've got any rooms. It's early, it's about half past six. So whether we can check in anywhere yet will be another matter, we'll see. Oh, oh the beach is just down that road there, although it's not a very nice day for the beach, but hey. Right, we've been having a disaster. We went into one hotel, see if we could get a room, and they only had single rooms, and it said on booking we had double, we only had singles anyway. So I've booked somewhere, and we've been literally been wandering around for maybe an hour. It's not where it says. It is on the map. We've been up and down, up and down, I've asked about a million people. Finally, we just found it, it's just ahead of us now. I've called them and they couldn't speak English, so that didn't help. Oh, it's been a nightmare. So we've just been to the hotel, I've just left Stephen there, he's just sat in um, in reception. He's knackered, poor thing. He had to like get, be woken up at six o'clock and then trudged around in the rain with a big heavy bag for like two hours trying to find a hotel. Um, <clears throat> but they've not got any they've not got any rooms available till 10. It's like 10 past eight now, so I think we're just gonna hang around in reception. For two hours, I'm just coming out to buy some drinks and things, cold drinks. I'm back at the hotel, sat in the lobby, I think. Might as well, yeah, I could, could go for a run, I suppose, but then I could just get all sweaty and horrible, so I don't think I will go for a run right now. I'm gonna use this time. Do a bit of editing, I think, do a bit of work. May as well, he's sitting watching. It's a Sunday. It is 10 o'clock, we've just made it up into the room. We've been allowed to check in early, which is always nice. Oh, nice, just what you want to put in your piece. I've booked this, I've only booked this place for one night and it was like really cheap. <gasps> the fridge, yay! It's a small room, there's only like just a double bed and like this is the space, there's like no space. Well, compared to, matter. Well, compared to Hong Kong, compared to Hong Kong it's, it's huge. <laughs> Yeah, Red Hong Kong is huge. And there's just like a, a small bathroom there. Yeah, but I only booked it for one night and then it's like seven pound a night or something like that. And then let me turn this back. Um, and I've just gone on to see now if I can book for like a couple more days and it's, the price has gone up on the website. So I'm gonna see if I can potentially book it with them for the same price as we've got tonight. Otherwise, if not, we're probably just gonna be staying here for one night, which is a bit of a pain. We'll have to lug our stuff around to another place but I found another hotel just down the road though that is like seven pound a night so we'll just see what happens but I think we're gonna shower relax for a little bit and then head out and explore Natrang I think really Natrang is just about the beach to be honest and hopefully it gets a bit nicer it's not too bad out there at the moment actually those people that are sitting down there were going to the beach were they the beach is about like maybe five minutes walk I don't know which way actually but one way not far the beach so yeah relax I think shower after that bus and everything and yeah we'll go to the beach right well I'm all showered and Stephen hasn't had a shower he's still minging from the bus but I am all showered and done we're gonna have a little wander out a little explore the sun has come out I think I think it's quite a nice day now I think we're just gonna head to the beach see what's going on around down there and just generally just explore around see what there is around we're on cheap food, we're getting a kebab and some fries and we're to eat from here. We've got we've got our food, got some chips and a falafel wrap kebab thing, which is almost at the beach. Chips we're gonna man. sit sit chips of Stevens, yeah. We're just gonna have a little check out of the beach. It's just here. 
sit and eat our food at the beach, see what it's like. No, there wasn't, was there? So many things now. Mm. Oh, this looks like it might be a nice beach. I hope we can go in the sea. Did you bring a towel? No. I did. I bought your towel. Oh, look at this. This is nice. We're gonna plunk our towels down over there. Whoa. Well, oh, there's like a big drop down to the sea, it looks like. Oh, no, there's like a big slope down. Right, where should we put our towels? Oh, look at this. Yeah, the water. Falafel kebab thing I've got. You wanna try some? We've eaten our food, that was delicious. I think we're gonna go and jump in the sea now. Thank you. Do you want Yeah. Into the sea. Warning, deep shelving beach. I never knew what that was before, but that's literally what it's like to get into the sea. Yeah. The problem we're having with beach is that I always want to stay longer than Stephen. Really? But never mind, we need to try and find our hotel now because no idea where it is and it's the wrong, it's more wrong on Google Maps. We went back to the hotel for a little bit, we had showers, got all clean, just nipped out to the shop, buy some little bits, because we're really budgeting at the moment. We have just gone and put like, some little croissants and things off the table. We're gonna stay in tonight. I wanted to explore, Stephen wants to stay in, and so I'm compromising. Actually, no, it's not a compromise, it's Stephen getting everything he wants, isn't it, really? We're, <laughs> we're gonna stay in tonight. I'm gonna try and get loads of work done, and we will explore tomorrow. But to be honest, after the dreadful night's sleep in the um, bus, on the sleeper bus, we can't really do with an early night, so yeah, it would work out alright to be honest if you stayed in. 
Stephen's dad. No. Stephen's dad's just phoned. He's having a chat to him and his sister. I feel like we've been on FaceTime all night. In reality, we haven't at all. But um, like Stephen's got my mum and granddad phoned, and um, his dad phoned later, and then my sister just phoned. And just I feel like we've been FaceTiming for a long, long time. I've also got quite a lot of work done this evening, which is all good. I just remembered I have not been for my run. It is the 12th of November and I've gone every single day. I promised myself that I would go every single day in November. And we've been on the night bus last night. Like, I didn't go because normally I go first thing in the morning when I wake up. I haven't been today and it is like quarter to ten now. There's no way I'm going now. I'm so annoyed with myself that I haven't been. I promised myself that I'd run at least a mile every single day in November. I mean, tomorrow. I just not really make up for it. I I'll do two miles tomorrow. Or like at least a mile for today and then whatever I will do tomorrow anyway. I can't do that, that doesn't work. Oh, I failed on my little challenge to myself, that's annoying. Maybe I have to try and do December. See, now I've failed, I'll be like, oh, there's no point in trying to, in running because I've not done one day. That's how my mind works and that's why I said I have to do it every single day. First thing in the morning, I'm gonna wake up and go. I know that I'm not gonna go, oh my goodness. Right, yeah, no, I will. I'm going to have to go. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm just going to get into bed, I think, now. I have an earliest night because as soon as I go to say I'm quite, it happens all the time. As soon as I go to say I'm quite tired, it makes me yawn. That's weird, isn't it? But anyway, I'm going to get into bed and fall asleep. I think I will fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow, actually, because, yeah, I am really quite tired. We're moving hotels tomorrow. Have I explained all of any of this on the vlog? I don't think I have. But I booked, I may have done actually, but I booked this hotel on booking.com and then for just for one night and then to see if it was all right. And it is all right. I have explained all this. I remember now saying this. But anyway, it's too expensive to stay for um, any more nights. So I have found another hotel called something, for, I think, I think it's Forget Me Not or something like that. Something like that anyway. Um, anyway, found that. Yeah, I've had said on this, we've walked through it before. And um, and yeah, so I've booked, booked that for the next five nights, I think. So we've moved, it's only like just down the road, so we move tomorrow into that. So we haven't really unpacked or anything, although it is kind of a bit of a mess. <laughs> Again, I am not haven't unpacked, but there's loads of crap all over the floor. Right, I'm gonna go, because I'm slamming on about crap. I'm a little bit, sunburned whilst I've got my cream out I'm going to put this cream in my bag so I always have it on me a little factor 30 because I didn't have any sun cream at the beach today and it was very silly of me so I'm going to pack that into my bag so I've always got some right I'm going right thanks for watching today I hope you had a wonderful day whatever you've done and I'll see you tomorrow good night